Construction begins the day before that in the Hertfordshire town of Hemel Hempstead. Just before five o'clock on Tuesday the 10th of December, Morley's jewellers were preparing to close when there were two last customers. Hello, love. Hello. Can I have a look at that necklace you've got in the window? The one that's 425 quid? The one just in the front there? Yes, of course. Would you like to point it out for me? Yeah, sure. Since the beginning of the month, Morley's had been busy with customers looking for Christmas presents. That would make a lovely Christmas present, sir. Yeah, that's the one. I reckon she'll like that. Yeah. Only trouble is, it's a bit small. My wife's quite a large lady. Ooh. I don't reckon it'll fit around her. Can I help, sir? We could always add a few extra links, of course, if you're particularly interested in that. Well, I'll have to measure the wife's neck. <laughs> Come on. We're on duty at six o'clock. We better go. Where's on duty, then? At Walthamstow. Oh, in that case, you better hurry, otherwise you're never going to make it. OK. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. They seemed Good. genuinely interested in the necklace. It looked like a potential sale. The next day, Wednesday the 11th of December, the high street was crowded with people shopping for Christmas and browsing around the weekly antique market outside Morley's Jewellers. By five o'clock, most of the shoppers were gone and the market had finished. Oh, hello again. Oh, hello. Have you come with the check? This is not a joke. Now move slowly away from there and don't do anything silly. You two, come over here. Come on. Come on, girl. Now, the three of you, get in that back room. Come on. Hurry up. Do as he says. Right. Now, I want to secure you. Come on, get your hands up. Just don't do anything silly and you won't get hurt. I'd give anything for a cigarette. You shouldn't be smoking at your age. Right. Now, from you, I want the keys to the shop door, the keys to the safe, and a pole for the shutter. The keys are out there in the office. Well, go and get them, then. Yes, yes, right. Please don't close the door. Look, nobody's going to get hurt. Just don't do anything and don't touch anything. You can have a cigarette if it'll make you feel better. And I'll leave the door ajar, all right? It's just that I suffer from claustrophobia. And a keys to the safe? Right. Now I want the pole for the shutters. It's uh, in there, hanging by the back door. I'll get it. Right, then. come on, get out. Get back in that room. The man was in full view of people in the cafe directly opposite, and police would like to hear from anyone who was there at the time and may have seen him. back in the shop. Come on. Come on. Right, I want you all in that room now. Go on, off you go. Uh, is it all right if we put the light on? Yes, and you can leave the door open. Now, presumably, you buy jewellery. Yes. Where do you keep the cash you used to buy it? it it's in a box by the till. Where is it? It's there, by the till. The box is empty. There's nothing in it. The other man must have taken it. Yeah, I've got it. Mm -hmm. Keys to the back door. Got it here. Right, now you go back in this room and you stay there for five minutes. We're going out the back way.
A motorist saw them dash across Waterhouse Street towards the car park. Then the same witness saw them 